One very common way to correct prescription is through a procedure very well known uh, such as So you're all finished with cataract surgery and things are eh, everything may be brighter, the colors may be more vibrant, but things just aren't quite as clear as what you were hoping or what you were expecting. Cataract surgery involves using artificial lenses and these artificial lenses are frequently designed in order to correct your vision and get you out of glasses as much as possible. However, sometimes after cataract surgery, even after using these lenses, things can still be a little bit blurry. And one common cause is that you can have residual prescription after cataract surgery. Fortunately, there are ways to take care of residual prescription. One very common way to correct prescription is through a procedure very well known, uh, such as LASIK. LASIK corrects vision and can actually even be used after cataract surgery as well. LASIK can be used to do a touch up and correct your vision. So let's learn a little bit more about it today. Today we're going to cover what are the exact reasons why you would need LASIK after cataract surgery? How does LASIK work? And is that going to interfere with that artificial lens that you have in place? And we'll also talk about how long do you need to wait after cataract surgery before you can get LASIK? Are there anything that needs to be done beforehand? So without further ado, let's sharpen up your knowledge about LASIK after cataract surgery. Cataracts develop from the natural lens inside our eye. This natural lens throughout our entire life is involved in the focusing of light to the back of our eye. So naturally after cataract surgery, we have to replace this lens with something else. And so we put in a new artificial lens to restore that function and also to correct your vision. To figure out the perfect prescription of artificial lens that we need, detailed measurements are made of your eye prior to cataract surgery. These measurements evaluate the cornea, the front clear part of your eye, as well as uh, they take uh, the overall length of your eye and a few other different factors. And these measurements are fed into various equations to figure out what is the perfect power of the artificial lens that we need for your eye. These lens equations actually work very well and a lot of progress has been made in the past few decades to get these lens equations as accurate as possible. However, nothing in life is ever 100% and there will still be some individuals that are left with a little bit of residual prescription after cataract surgery. Um, approximately 10% or less can have a little bit of residual prescription even after using these top equations. In addition, there are particular artificial lenses which correct for astigmatism. Now astigmatism is simply just prescription that you can have in your glasses which causes things to be a little bit more blurry. And so by correcting astigmatism with cataract surgery, that reduces your need for glasses to provide sharper and clearer vision. Similar to how certain individuals can be left with residual prescription after cataract surgery, there's also certain individuals that can be left with residual astigmatism as well. Fortunately, LASIK can correct both of these things to get rid of all that extra prescription error and bring in nice, clear vision. There is another situation in which LASIK can be used after cataract surgery. One technique with cataract surgery to provide glasses independence is by correcting the vision using a process known as monovision. What monovision is, is one eye is corrected all the way for the distance, while the other is corrected for up close and reading vision. Between these two eyes, that covers just about everything that you need to do through the course of your day. And monovision does work quite well. However, there are certain individuals that just simply cannot adjust to the two eyes doing separate things. And so LASIK can be used to reverse monovision by correcting that up close eye all the way to the distance, allowing both eyes to work together again. 
LASIK is a very common procedure used to correct vision. Now, as I was talking about before, the natural lens inside your eye is involved in focusing and determining the prescription of your eye. This is why after cataract surgery, we need to replace this natural lens with a new artificial lens in order to restore that function and bring things in focus for you. However, most of the focusing of the eye actually occurs at the cornea. And this is what LASIK treats. By using lasers, LASIK is able to reshape and remodel that cornea in order to correct prescription and bring things in focus. LASIK uses two lasers. This laser right here does the actual prescription treatment. But before we use that laser, we use a separate laser which creates a LASIK flap within the cornea in order to allow us to fold back, do the treatment, and put that LASIK flap back in place. This allows for a very quick recovery. LASIK is a very easy procedure to go through. It takes just about 15 minutes. The procedure is very comfortable and painless. The recovery is also quick as well. Within about a day, you're already seeing nice and sharp. Now, because LASIK works on the cornea, it doesn't have any effect on that artificial lens inside your eye. The laser energy from LASIK simply just cannot travel that far and reach that lens. Therefore, after LASIK, that artificial lens remains unchanged and LASIK is able to work quite well after cataract surgery. So if you need LASIK, when can it be performed? Well, there's a few key things that we look at to make sure that we're doing the best treatment. The first one is that we want to make sure that the prescription of the eye is stable. When we take out the cataract and put in a new artificial lens, this new artificial lens is only about 20% the thickness of what the cataract was. What this means is that within the first few weeks and month, that new artificial lens can actually shift around just a little bit. For some people, they may notice a, a flickering effect in their vision. For others, they can have subtle changes in the prescription of their eye. Gradually over time, this lens becomes more secured in place and the prescription starts to stabilize. So to get the best results after LASIK, frequently we wait beyond three months in order to make sure that that lens has stabilized within the eye. Once the prescription has stabilized, we also want to evaluate to make sure that there is nothing else going on the eye which can be causing blurry vision. One thing which happens often after cataract surgery is you can get a clouding or film on the back of that artificial lens. Now, technically, this actually happens to the capsule that the artificial lens sits in, and this is called posterior capsular opacification, or more commonly known as after cataract. But there is a very simple, easy procedure, uh, which is done in office using a laser, which can clear that cloudiness and restore vision. And this allows us to also get a more accurate prescription measurement. And so if this cloudiness exists, it should be treated prior to LASIK in order to get the best results. Finally, the health of the eye needs to be optimized prior to LASIK. In particular, any dry eye needs to be treated before LASIK in order to allow for the best recovery. Everyone after LASIK will have some degree of short-term dry eye. In order to allow for the best recovery and results after LASIK, if there's any uncontrolled dry eye ahead of time, this needs to be treated and optimized in order to allow for an easier recovery. In summary, LASIK can be a great way to correct vision after cataract surgery. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn more about LASIK and cataract surgery. If you did, leave a comment in the section below. And remember to like this video and subscribe for more great eye content.